welcome to my 2020 Louis Vuitton GM size planner setup. I'm a little late into the game, but that's just because I decided to take some time and really figure out what inserts I wanted to go with this year. And I really wasn't in a hurry until probably mid-January when I needed everything together because I have to change out my vision board, everything in here. So it took a little time, but the winner of inserts for my choice this year is St. Posh. I went with her last year. I like her because number one, her packaging when it's sent to you is wonderful. Everything is done in tissue paper with bows. Each um, section that you order is packaged separately. I'm not going to go through each of the packages because this is all in my planner. So we'll just save that for when we get to the planner. Um, she is very clean, bougie, um, straight lines. I am not a colorful person in my planner. I don't get into stickers or anything. You will see me use colors when I get to my war binder or my um, devotions and sermon notes and stuff like that. I'll play with color. But during the week, I stay pretty focused. I like to write a lot. I, I do a lot of to-do lists. So I stick pretty much with my black pen. And then a lot of times I use my highlighters to just highlight what was done on my to-do list, what I finished on my to-do list, and then what's getting migrated over to the next day. I'll use my pens. And sometimes I even pick out a pen for the month, like a couple colors, and then I'll just keep them in my uh, pouch, which goes with me everywhere. I stick. I usually slip this into my purse and everything. It has basic things in it, so it th again, that goes everywhere with me. So let's go ahead and open this up. As you see, you come to the front page. Everybody knows what the front of the planner looks like. If you've watched other planner videos, you have your pockets. I don't use this much. I keep this here, and I'll show you what this is in a minute, what I use this for on all of my dailies. And that is about it. My dashboards I will leave for you to see. Uh, they'll begin in the drop down box if you're interested in any of the Louis Vuitton dashboards. And uh, we'll walk right through this. Here is my vision board. I changed out my vision board. If you want to hear more about my vision board, check out the video right here above and it'll talk about my vision board and how I put it together. I have a vision board class, all that kind of fun stuff. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check that out. But I always start the beginning of my planner with a vision board because I think it's important to look at it, then maybe state a daily intention or what you see and what you want to believe in. And so that's what I use my breakthroughs um, that I'm looking for in 2020. I keep them in front of me and that is really what the beginning of my planner has. We'll talk more about that later. And then you can see we're just turning through here. Um, is again this oh this is actually cloth and paper these inserts are cloth and paper and this is the year overview and then of course I can go ahead which I have not completed yet I will put the dates in uh, dates for birthdays or anything that it's important so it's my year overview and then I really liked this my 2020 vision so I'm going to put my top dreams here because I do have my top dreams. Then it has an area for bucket list. I really liked that. So I have some stuff I'm going to just put down here that I want to do. Like I know, for example, I kind of want to start getting monthly massages and I'm going to put that down and just different things, different things that I, I really want to work on during the year. I will brain dump here. Accomplishments. Here is your quarter review. So I have a quarter review of one, two and three and four. Let me show you. Here again is St. Posh. This is what her monthlies look like. I, I always paper clip my monthlies off so I can flip right to it. But this is what her monthlies look like. So you have January again. We're to St. Posh again. Look how nice they are. They're just, I went, you can, you can get them where there's no lines. Can you kind of see the lines in them? You can get them also where there is no lines. So I went ahead with the lines this year. I did her last year also, and I did not have the lines. So I went with the lines. So it's pretty clean. And let me show you what I really like. So she changed this up this year. She did in the style, and I loved it. It was one of the reasons why I stuck with her. Her master list at the end, let me show you a plain one because it's easier to see. You can see I have already done mine for... Uh, January, but here is a master list at the back of every month. So again, when I was talking to you about the cloth and paper back here, when you do your quarterly reviews, I think that uh, looking back at these are going to be very helpful when I do my reviews. So basically your master list, what is your personal priority, 
you get to pick three and your work priority for that month. And then you have a to-do list for both sides, a nice little quote right here, and then some free space. Now in the free space is where I brain dump for these um, three priorities. I'll kind of go down here and as you can see what I did here is I'll put the three priorities in a sticker and then I brain dump around them and then I'll go up and put my to do's in and so that's kind of what I was playing with for my master list for January and then I'll see what worked and what did not work and I will come back over when I set up February so I really really liked that it was nice uh, my dividers right here, I uh, believe are from, I don't even know, I'll put them in the drop down box. I will put them in the, my black dividers with the months on them. I will put with the gold right here in the drop down box. I don't remember this stuff. So I do put all my, all my months in because I never know when I just have to kind of go put a date in. I do use my phone, but for some reason I'm old fashioned and I just love to just sit and write. I don't know why, I just, it's relaxing. Uh, I have an area for my bills, and that's right in here, and I'm actually working on that information with my husband right now, and so then I'll put a checklist and a spending tracker and everything in here. I have not done that yet. Now let's go to the weekly overview. What I do for the weekly overview is I always look back at my top seven dreams for 2020. So these are my top seven dreams. Now, my dream list is a little interesting because three of them, they usually merge together, but weekly or monthly, I'm focusing on one of them. So that's kind of how I do it. It's really explain, hard to explain my mind on that, but basically, I put my top dreams here. If you want me to do a further video on that, I will, but I don't want to take up too much time because I just wanted to show you my layout. So here is my weekly this year. I am absolutely loving it. Can you see everything? There we go. I absolutely love, love, love this style. So let me show you a plane because I think that'll help. Let me open this up here. Actually, I think these are all written. I think I've done. Okay, here's a plain one. This is pretty plain. This is going into next week. So I love the fact that I have my whole week here and I usually will put my definite work appointments down and then I will put like AM routine so you can see, I'll flip back over, maybe that'll help you. However, you could even draw a line right here and do personal and work or however, you can do a lot with this. But I ended up putting uh, whatever my main, my main things were, like my mom had surgery, this was a work day, I worked at this person's house, doctor's appointment here. So I would put my main things here, but on the other side, now this is the part I thought was amazing. This is your whole week at a glance. So you get to put your top priorities here, and then you could put an important note here. So my important note was to remember my habit every single day, which was review my dreams and goals every morning, get a workout in, listen to a faith-based message, pray, and then read. At some point, my habit is getting these all done. So I have a pretty good morning routine that um, encompasses this habit, and then at night I get my reading in. Now here's another part that I loved. This side, now you can get these where she has the times put in. I did not do the times. I left the times out. So what I'm doing here is acting like this is my time, but I have more space to play with it without numbers being there. So if I write bigger or whatever. But here I'm writing out like each week based on what I have here over on this side. I can kind of, you know, figure out what my week's going to look like and what I want to aim for for a morning routine. So I have that there. And then over here is my brain dump for everything I want done that week. And now again, basically, I have to go back and remember the one dream that I'm working on. And I'm usually pulling one of these out for that week. And so I have to focus on it. So like I remember this week, my HB newsletter. And if you want to join um, my newsletter, you can, here's my website right here. Go ahead over to my website and I do lots of, crazy fun things for women. I like to inspire women to believe, behold, and become all God's created them to be. So that's part of my ministry newsletter, and that's what I wanted to work on. So I had to get some vision board set up and all kinds of stuff ready. And then, of course, I wanted to get my planner setter, my planner setup video done and ready, too. So those were all accomplished. 
and I was excited about that. I also like the daily task tracker that's here for the week, so I'm able to put down the things that I actually want to track, and this is just a nice accountability. So again, week overlook, a place to brain dump, kind of schedule out how I want my week to look, so I'm actually you know, able to be energized by looking at this and going, okay, wait a minute, my morning routine is here. Let me stay focused on that. Because what happens on the days that I'm actually working from home, if I don't have this here and I'm not looking at it, I can get really lazy. And the days that I'm working from home can be really an excellent day to get a lot of editing and videos done and my coaching done. So it's really important for me to stay focused. Uh, we'll turn the page. That's just the week at a glance and that's what they look like. And so I have the whole month of January in here. And that is the week. And now, now dailies are awesome too. So here is what my dailies look like. And I have a bunch of them in here. As you can see, I've been already working them. And I'm really happy with them. Really, really, really happy. I'll tell you in a second what I do with my dailies. but really, really happy. Now this board right here is clear. Now obviously you can see this is where we're at today. And this board I'll usually put sticky notes all over. And I have sticky notes in my uh, pencil case. So if I'm in a note in a meeting or whatever and I'm taking down phone numbers and stuff, I don't write on these pages. I start putting sticky notes all over this dashboard page and I just fill it up. So meeting notes, um, notes to do for next week that I know need to get put into my, my weekly. I just kind of brain dump on this with my large notes and grocery lists and all of that kind of goes on here. So that's what my dailies look like. One thing I'm going to show you, let me take, if you can see in the back, well, I'm going to jump ahead for a second. This right here is graph paper also that came from, um, did I get this from cloth and paper? No, this is Infinite Lotus. Yeah, my Lotus graph paper, I am so sorry. But if you can see here, she also has a weekly uh, and it looks like this. So I will change out my weekly and sometimes use this one because I did like the graph paper. And when I was watching some of the uh, video setups, I'm like, ooh, they can have fun with their graph paper. They actually journal, do something over here. And so weeks that I just get bored, I'm ready to change out my day, my weeklies. And so again, it's set up the same here, which I like, and then I get graph paper. Now remember over here on my weeklies, I didn't have graph paper. It was already filled out for me. So I'm getting the same look here, but graph paper, if I want to stick with uh, a different change of a weekly. So again, uh, Lotus is where I got it, and these I will be changing out when I get bored with, you know, these weekly. That's a week I want to use more pens, I don't know, then I can have fun with my graph paper. You can use graph paper for a lot of stuff too. I sometimes will do my journaling or sermon notes on it or whatever, but I definitely grabbed a packet of this and I stashed it in the back under notes so I can um, swap that out. Another thing that I got from St. Posh and it's filled in on the other side so I don't want to show you all my passwords obviously, but uh, her passwords and I really liked that. She um, has that available and I like that. I, I use this a lot. All right, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit now about my dailies and how I utilize these inserts. And so I am a huge fan of Mel Robbins. I don't know if you know her, but we are reading the uh, five second rule right now in my book club. If you're interested in my book club, here's the link above. You can check out all the books that we're reading in 2020. But right now we're reading the five second rule. And I just, she really inspires me and encourages me to be the best that I can be. And I love her videos. And she's one of the um, podcasters that I'll listen to when I'm doing a workout. So what I'm doing right now is one of her morning routines. And I actually like it. And I'm utilizing this top space to do this in. So I'm just going to share it with you. I like, again, this planner, I'll show you a plain planner, a plain piece. So you can kind of get an idea what's on it. But up here at the top, you have the ability to write. It's just put the date in. You have all this free space to write. And then you have your priorities on the side. And then you have your schedule. And this one has time. I got some with time and some without. And, this, and here's all your tasks. So everything that you want to do 
for the day is here and then here you go with your scheduling if you need to do it and then any notes that you need to take at the bottom a lot of times I'll do a gratitude list right here at night so what I'm doing in this little space right up here watch this this is so fun I've been really enjoying it is I'm taking her morning thing and it says today I feel and I kind of do this little gauge sign like you would see in a car and it goes from depleted meh fine good and energized and I circle where I'm at after that I will kind of talk about it says there I feel this way because and then over here I'll put maybe I was up late night uh, stress uh, my night routine was crappy uh, over here I put um you know, I, I, I actually felt good that morning because I got a lot done. My, I had recent foot surgery and my back and my foot is feeling better and the routine that I'm learning is helping. So I was feeling good that morning. And so that just says I feel this way. So you're taking responsibility for your emotions every day. So here you go. And then why do you feel that way? And then I feel I will feel better when and you can put down when I pray, work out or stay focused. I'm doing this the first within the first 15 minutes that I wake up. I get my coffee and I really am stating my intention for the day and my feelings are not gonna run me. They're not gonna own me. So I'm going to feel better and this is how I really get a workout and I love it. I'm gonna feel better when I pray, work out, and stay focused. And then the question is, um, how am I gonna get this done? You know, how do you know you're gonna get this done? And I put five, four, three, two, one, because that's one of her things. Rock it, do it. You gotta, you gotta beat your brain to the task. And then she asks you a question. Today my top priority is, and so I will list my top priority right here, and why is that important? And I list that there, and then I'll go ahead and put the rest of my priorities for that day. So right up here is the first thing that I'm doing every single morning, every single, single morning. And then the last thing she has is what am I grateful for? And then I do that. And then on the back of this, we even get further into how you kind of break your dreams down. And for the sake of today's video, if you want to hear more about this and how I take one big dream and then break it down during the week um, and pick only one thing and then schedule it and make it happen, tell me. And I could do a whole video on this because this is actually really, really cool. But for today, I'm just showing you how I do the top part of my dailies, how I kind of, you know, check out my... Uh, my emotions here and then I take ownership of them and then I get ready, plan the one priority that is the most important and state why it's important. And then of course I will put the, the tasks right down here. The first tasks, the first three tasks have to do with that number one priority right up there. And then of course I have some other tasks that I want to get done and then um, priorities that I want to get done and then tasks down here. And then I will go and run with a schedule right here, a daily schedule to keep myself in line. And especially if I'm out of the house for a few hours and I'm working at a client's house and then I come back, I really have to keep track of my time. Where am I going in those two hours? I mean, I cannot, you know, head off to Hobby Lobby or Home Goods, especially if I have some things that I need to get done. So this is a really good daily planner. I love it. Sometimes I take this right out and I have a clipboard that goes in my car. So I will um, take this out and clip it to my clipboard instead of taking this with me all the time or I'll keep it in my purse too, depending on what type of meeting or what business I'm doing that day. I will um, either take it with me or I'll leave it and take this out on a clipboard because I like things to stay in front of me. So that's a little bit of the dailies. I love them. Let me know if you think they're cool. Let me know if you know about Mel, Mel Robbins. And then we get into my devotion section. And this is really fun too. So here I will tell you down below where I get all the inserts. I go ahead and I copy them and print them off and then I have my paper cutter right here and so I use a sample um, one that I have that that's already in my planner and I cut them down to this size and then I have a perfect hole puncher that punches the holes perfectly which is I absolutely love that to fit my planner so I think that is really really cool so I'll hole punch them and I'll stick them right inside of here so in here I have my war binder which is specific things that I'm praying for and I'm going to war for in 2020 and verses that match them and I love their war binder pages and then I'll put all my prayer requests here 
and you get several of these. So once this fills up, I can um, get another one. And then I don't have them in here now because I'm in the middle of working on them, but I'll show you my ones from my planner last year. This is what my devotional looks like. I always will do a reading and people will follow me. You can follow me on Instagram Live if you're interested. I'll be doing one for February, but I'll pick a topic. So for example, we did our identity in Christ. Every single day we did a reading and then I would take notes on the back of something that jumped out. So um, there was, uh, let's see, let me pick out a couple more. So for example, this one was dealing with the devil. So every single day we read a verse and then here I took notes of what I read and then I did a, actually I did a whole um, video on this so right up above is the video on this um, how to deal with the devil if you want to check out that and then God's promises was right here all these verses were for God's promises and then I went ahead over here and put them down what jumped out you know out of every verse and of course we're sharing this all together on Instagram so if you want to come over there you can diligence and hard work 30-day Bible study reading and writing plan so we would do this and then we would write it out now I would got most of these from I want to give you credit to Cherie sisters in Christ she's a Facebook group I'll leave the name right here and she was the one that um, gave the idea of doing the scripture writing. So she has a whole big group there where you can um, scripture write together and talk to everybody on this page about the verses that you're doing. And some of these ladies are doing these verses in the most beautiful journal. They're using their pens and everything. So if that's something that really interests you, then jump over there and get involved because they have prayer requests and everything. Cherie Sisters in Christ uh, Facebook group. You will love it. But for me, I just do the basic reading. And of course, I reach out to the ladies that are um, in my ministry or in, you know, in our family. And I do this. Believing Bigger was another one. And I did it a little bit different. I wrote out the verses and highlighted them. So basically, again, um, I did a gratitude journal. You'll get a gratitude sheet in this uh, devotional binder. So you can do maybe a gratitude every single day if you don't do it in your daily. Uh, again, prayer needs. Uh, sermon notes. Love the sermon notes. I just cut out um, 11 of these to get me started and I put them in. So a lot of times I will take the sermon notes out and stick it into a notebook when I go to church or if I'm home. And then I take the sermon notes right here because I think that's, I just think it's neat to have. And especially if something really spoke to you about your dreams or your goals or whatever's going on in your life. I like to carry those sermon notes around with me in my planner. So that's basically everything. Um, here's a couple empties. Here's the ones that I have to pull hole punch. I'm sorry. Yes, I did bring them. These are the ones that I'll get ready to hole punch. Prayer journal. And I'm going to um, get this all ready. Sermon notes. And so I will take the hole puncher and I will punch out the holes that match. This is the best hole puncher. It matches. It's a wrap, uh, wrap skull. It's the best one for, I got it off of eBay, for doing your punching for your GM planner size. And so that's it. And then when I'm done with any of my inserts for that month or that section, I just take them and I paper clip them and I have a gigantic box that I keep everything in. So sermon notes, uh, prayer needs, all that kind of stuff goes into a big um, box. Back of my book is uh, just notes, an area for notes, which is where I keep my graph paper and extras. And then um, for my book club, I have my color coding system because sometimes I color code in the books that I read. And then when we do our book review, which you will see once a month, we do a book review the last Thursday of the month. Uh, you can um, come and review the book that we're reading together. And a lot of times I'll do the coding system because it's easier for everybody to follow and it's e easier for everybody else to take notes and kind of talk about their book when we do the live book review. But I have a little pouch that has stickers in it, a couple extra checks in it, and some, again, stickers for my monthly. And that's about it. And do a shout out to my favorite posh pieces by Melissa. <gasps> if you do not follow her on Instagram, you are missing out because she is a doll face and she is so creative. She makes so many wonderful paper clips for your planner, a little things like this. This is actually a back pocket right here. So I could stick in maybe my verse for the month or whatever that I'm trying to memorize. I can stick in this pocket. And so this stays with me right in my pocket back here. And again, here is a copy of our book list of all the books that we're reading in 2020 for each month and I keep that right back here. 
So that is everything. Let me know what you think. Let me know what looks new or what inspired you. Let me know if, what you think of, again, St. Posh and her inserts. Let me know if we're the same planner style. Do we like, are you into stickers? Are you into clean like this? Do you do a vision board in your planner? Do you like to do that? Or did this inspire you to do one? And I think that's it. So if there's anything else you want to see, let me know. Otherwise, that is my planner. And yes, I absolutely love my Louis Vuitton planner. I love it, love it, love it. I used to be a Kiki K and I had a Filofax. You'll see them all because I have a ton of planner videos, but this is what I've been using all the time because it just matches with all of my purses and stuff. So definitely love this. I also have the um, PM size, which is really tiny, and I actually use that for my wallet and all my credit cards. So maybe I'll do a review on that. But for now, she's pretty, she's thick, She's not too heavy, and she goes everywhere with me. I love it. Well, thank you for joining me and hanging out and doing this video with me. Let me know if you liked it. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I would love for you to subscribe and to hang out with me all in 2020. So have a blessed day, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.